Today, we venture into the home of a self-proclaimed Nazi. The owner, who fought for the Germans during the Second World War, arrived in Canada in 1951. He modeled his home after Adolf Hitler's Bavarian mountain home and named it the Berghof. The home was built in approximately the 1970s. The front of the home was guarded by two Third Reich Eagle statues, one on each side of the driveway. In the backyard was a large swastika cut into the grass and visible from Google Earth. In approximately 1993, 40 Ku Klux Klansmen attended the property for a cross-burning ceremony. Following his death in 2011 from liver failure, his widow remained in the home. His two sons then sued the estate when they learned that the estate had been willed to his wife. The furniture and personal items were left to his wife, all except for the items in the living room. The living room was styled after Hitler's Bavarian retreat. Inside was a portrait of Hitler on the wall. These items left in the living room were to remain on the property. The property is currently still in limbo and its future points to demolition. Now, join us as we venture inside. So we're going to start in this bedroom first. What? That's so weird. It has a sunken bathtub in here. That's really different. Oh, and then the, uh, the shower, if you can call it a shower, it would drain off into that. I wonder if it actually was used as a bathtub though. I don't know. So this house was modeled off of Hitler's, um, one of Hitler's hideaways. I don't remember which one specifically. Another bathroom in here. Spiders everywhere in this house. Mm. There's keys in here. Hall door key, dining room key. Why are there so many different keys? Hmm. This was an office apparently. Huh. Another bathroom. This is three so far. This is where the architecture in this house gets very interesting, is these rooms. Slides, fixtures hanging from the ceiling. So I'm guessing this is the main kitchen.
nice place, nice, not nice place, nice area for the dining room. Or the kitchen table at least. It's interesting too, is in the kitchen, this, this cupboard, the way that it's set up, I've never seen anything like that. I don't know if that's like specifically like a German kind of thing or if it's just convenient, but if anybody knows why it's like this or if we're just dumb we don't get it, let us know. I'm guessing that this is probably for like spices or something, but I mean it could have literally been for anything, so who knows. Definitely a unique house. The history behind it is kind of astounding. So from what I can gather, this was the room that at least there was a Hitler portrait hanging on the wall. You can actually see on the wallpaper here, see on the wallpaper here that there's a difference in color where the picture was hanging, which is interesting. And the staircase in here is interesting too. One other thing I just noticed, there was a small fire in this house. Possibly leading to somewhat of its abandonment. There's even a fire report. On the wall right there. What are you doing? Oh, that's where the swastikas are? No, there's some on that side as well. Hmm. So this is where the swastikas are apparently on the wall. He's right. Look at that. So this is literally somebody who devoted their life to being a Nazi. Like if you got it swastikas in your actual walls like that, and it's actually in there. It's not graffiti, it's nothing like that. It's properly in the wall, which is just gross. It's just gross to have that in the walls like that though, for real. It's like the centerpiece on every every little square. Literally, it's it's like everything revolves around it. That's what he's trying to point out. And it's not like it's just on one wall. It's on every part of the wall. That's the thing. That's what is the disturbing part about it. There's so many spiders. Like, look at that. Like, I've never seen a house so filled with spiders. Okay, I've already done this. I'm not doing it again. Do you notice the fire damage? Yeah. I'm not surprised. No. And this is the main entrance right here. Front doors. The staircase is unique. Definitely cool. It's like, I don't know, is it real exposed brick? It's like, whatever they did, it doesn't look right. They like overdid it with the concrete. Yeah. It's like, it's... He could have done it all by hand, though. He, that's the thing. I'm not sure if he built this by himself to make it like a replica or whatever, but... Uh, I'd have to see the pictures of it. Yeah. Okay. So this house has four bed, or four baths already, mm -hmm. which is a lot. Well, oh, that's yeah, that's the fourth. So this looks like a master type bedroom. There's actually another washroom in here. Big wooden shelf. 
There's like a little kitchenette. Almost do. Then another room maybe? Maybe it was a split thing. And then possibly or not possibly another washroom in here. A This is B maybe a renting of the room. B. They may have been renting out the rooms in this house for like apartments. That might be why there was all the keys. Pretty empty room though. Another washroom that it had to have been rented out. There's no way. What is this? It's like a laundry chute. Another bedroom. Not sure. Not sure what to use this for. You can see the damage from the abandonment in the ceiling. They're renting these rooms out. There's letters on each door. Okay. That's why there's so many washrooms. Oh my god, guys, look, there's a body. I'm just joking. It's, um, I don't know. I don't know what the point of this is. I'm not gonna clickbait you with it. I'm not gonna clickbait you with it. But concerning, creepy. There's something about Mother Teresa right here, too. And another washroom. <laughs> so yeah, I believe that they're renting out rooms in here. There's no way you need that many washrooms. No. And that's what these dividers are probably for. This is one room, this is another room. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if this uh, carpet is like... It's all red. Yeah, it's red. Like, like Nazi red, but... Is there any, does this have any like symbolic meaning or anything? I don't think so. Or is it just kind of, it just kind of just, works? It just works. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know, I don't think I'd want to rent from a Nazi, would you? No. Then the final room, you can see that the Ceiling is starting to fall in, so I'm gonna avoid there. What the hell is in here? Alright guys, this house is giving me the worst vibe I've ever had in my life. It feels like there's evil here, and I, we don't want to be here anymore, to be honest. But we're documenting it for you guys, um, so it's going to be quick probably. So this is the basement. What? There's a furnace in there with dead birds in it. What? Yeah. Where? In there for a while. There's a what? A, a furnace with dead birds. What the f***? Are they burning? Oh, hell no! I don't, I don't even want to know what half of these rooms are for. Nope. Jewelry box. There's another washroom.
power panel room. Like normally guys, this would be a nice house to go and explore, but the, the history that it has, yeah. it has me so on edge. I feel so badly about the history that this would even exist. And I, I don't know, it's just not, it's nothing to make jokes about, nothing like that. This is the garage. This is the moldiest room in the house, probably. I'm gonna guess another washroom. Yeah, of course. And this is what I mean, the spider webs. Look at how bad they are. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like it. If you don't want to, don't. I don't care. If uh. We find it offensive, that's not the intent, we're just trying to show history of the place. But, yeah, we're, we're having really like evil vibes in there, so we're just gonna head out. So I'll see you guys on the next explore.